tonight on Wise Guy. Sonny and Teresa were dancing a little closer than usual. If Sonny marries into the Bronx, that'll make things difficult. Terra Nova's seducible. I love you, and I'm gonna marry you anyway. But I wanna know why. Keep my name alive, Teresa. Make me sons. The war is gonna come. Sonny and I had a little public spat, and Patrice tried to make his move on me. Anything else? This is the one we wanted, Frank. The biggest fish on the East Coast. What's all this about, Annie? Politics. You know what that is? Yeah, I know what politics are. Everybody in this room is either Irish or Italian, except for me. I'm Dutch-Irish. But we're all Catholics. That makes for a strong connection. You know what I mean? Yeah, I went to church, too. <laughs> yeah, but you've never been in this church. What's so special about it? It's in the Bronx. Yeah, so it's Cortona Park yeah. that makes it consecrated turf. No, no, they got affiliates. So does half the East Coast. That ain't the point. Nobody lives in this neighborhood anymore except Joey Banks. But a lot of people started here. Sonny grew up on Arthur Avenue. Mahoney lived here till his old man was whacked and the family moved to Philly. He's got lots of ties here. This church got a lot of power. Patrice himself would have been here to show respects, but he sent Scalisi. That's okay. Scalisi's got cousins here. You see that guy there, Logan? Yeah. IRA. Guy talking to him, Congressman Burke. You tell me Burke's crooked? No, oh, no. There ain't no monkey business going on in here. It's politics. It's like when the president goes to visit some little dump like England. Now, the country don't mean squat, but it's important that he shows everybody else that he's uh, kept the ties strong. Yeah, this neighborhood's a real important little piece of real estate. Mm -hmm. hey, 12 square blocks. Oh, jolly. <laughs> See you later, Harry. Yes, sir. Excuse me, man. How you doing, Teresa? Mm -hmm. I'm okay, Sonny. How are you? Oh, uh, I'm very upset. What's wrong? Well, just every year I come all the way up here, Teresa, and you sit at the first table with your family, and Father Michael, and I'm stuck all the way at the second table. Oh, Sonny, I'm sorry. It's disrespectful not to see you at the first table. Mm. I'll have my father change it right away. Oh, no, 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 that's okay. I, uh, <clears throat> I asked to be sitting at the second table. See, I figured that uh, 
I sat next to you all night in that gorgeous dress, I'm liable to make some bold suggestions and your father will go nuts. Sonny, you make the right suggestions. Yeah. Maybe I'll go nuts. Oh, Teresa, I'm gonna go practice. You don't need any practice. Sonny. Yeah, she's terrific. I think I'll marry her. What, are you kidding me? No. You got a problem with yeah. that? No, no, I just figured, you know, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for nothing, right? <laughs> why don't you get out of here if I spill your milk? Sonny, come on. You never even mentioned this girl before. It's because I don't talk about the people I love. All right, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Just get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, go get something to drink. Get out of here. Teresa, you got a minute? Sure, Sonny. Uh, we know each other a long time, right? <laughs> no. I know your family forever. <laughs> Every time there's one of these dinners, I'm here. You and me, we flirt a little bit. <laughs> we joke. I tell you how horny your calamari makes me. <laughs> you blush. I tell you how much I love you. You're surprised. Don't be surprised, Teresa. You know how much I care about you? Do you? Come here. I want to talk to your father about this. I don't care with you. Funny. Want to dance? Come on, let's dance. This morning. How does he feel about it? Well, he'll back you as long as there's not a war. So if we can move neatly, he'll take an active position. Good. But there's no way we can do this without arousing Mahoney's wrath, mm hmm I mean, nobody's going to side with us if we go to war with Philadelphia. We won't go to war with Philadelphia. Mahoney will accept the situation if it's handled smoothly. How did it go in the Bronx last night? I always enjoy St. Anthony's Feast. Only me had a good laugh together. And Baglia? Not so good. 
Sonny and Teresa were dancing a little closer than usual. If Sonny marries into the Bronx, that'll make things difficult. Mm -hmm. You've been inside Sonny's organization for six months. Who's got the soul of a Judas? Nobody, I'm afraid. I mean, I've, uh, I've held that candy, but Sonny doesn't have a sweet tooth in the family. Listen, I think that we can get to his right hand. Are you insane? Terra Nova and Sonny are like brothers. Oh, yeah, well, these two brothers had a falling out over Teresa Baglia. Uh, what do you make of that, Sid? Consider the source, yes? Don't confuse an active brain with an overactive thyroid. Don Begley. Sonny, good to see you. Hey, come on. How about a little botch of all? No, 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 no. Maybe later. I, uh, I need a moment of your time, Don Begley. Yeah. Sure, Sonny. Aldo, take my place. Hey, Giuseppe, where are you going? I'll be right back. This will give you a chance to catch up. <laughs> Let's walk, Sonny. You know, it's been a long time since you called me Don Bagley. You don't have to explain. I, I know the power doesn't come out of the Bronx anymore. So, uh, what's on your mind? You don't call me Joey Bags. My brother Dave's on my mind, Don Baglia. He gave the world a beautiful daughter, but he didn't make a boy to carry on the name. Rest his soul, you could tell that Dave was a girl maker. Don Baglia, I'm the last steel grave. I mean, I've got buildings with my name on it, but I don't, I don't have anybody to pass it on to. God put us here for one thing, Sonny. To create new life. A man isn't a man until he holds his child in his hands. And then he's a god. Don Baglia, I want your permission to marry your daughter, Teresa. Has she consented? Don't misunderstand my reluctance, Sonny. I've always had a large affection for you. I've always enjoyed our informal friendship, and even you call me Joey Bags. But if I give you my consent, you realize we can never have that again. I do. I do. What would you do about Teresa's older brother, Aldo? With your permission, I'd like to take him to Atlantic City and teach him the casino business. Good. I'm going to miss our friendship, but I, I welcome a grandson. You have my blessing. Thank you, Don Baglia. Can I get you some coffee? No, I'm going to go back and play bocce ball with the boys again. Mind if I watch a little bit? No, come on, come on. Sid, I want you to clear with Patrice, Lorca, and the Boca family who they feel comfortable with on security. You let them know that it's very important to me that they enjoy this wedding just as much as our people do. Well, would you uh, like me to recommend any families to run security? Who'd you have in mind? The D'Angelicos would be a good choice, yes? The Monzas, uh, Mahoney. Forget the Monzas. We're doing a wedding, not a rock concert. The D'Angelicos and Mahoney will keep things running smooth. Vinny! Why? I want you to take a ride up to the Bronx, pick up Aldo Baglia. Hey, Sonny, I'm not a driver anymore. Send Larry and Mike. Oh, you want to help or you want to moan? He's going to be our security man. I want you to go get him. Hey. What's going on here? 
I can't catch a break with you these days. I thought security was my job. Yeah, well, you're gonna be a side man. Come on, Vinny, he's my future brother-in-law. Yeah? Yeah. Here's $50. You tell your future brother-in-law to take the bus. I got better things to do. Excuse me. Yes, Mr. Patrice. I believe your anthropoid was right, mm-hmm. Terra Nova's seducible. I didn't notice you come in. How are you? I'm fine, Mr. Patrice. Yourself? I've got my health. You're visiting your family? Yeah, my mother. How is she? She's good. Listen, Mr. Patrice, I didn't get a chance to thank you for sending in that specialist. Forget it. I'm glad she's well. Thank you. I notice you've been visiting the old neighborhood more and more. Feels good to be here, doesn't it? Yeah, well, my family's here, and I still got a few friends kicking around, you know. You know, I have a place in the Hamptons right next door to the chairman of Unidac Industries. I have a penthouse on Central Park in a building that wouldn't accept a former president. But when I come back to Brooklyn, I feel connected to something. You know how that is, don't you? Yeah, sure. You happy in Atlantic City? It's all right. All right is not happy. I'm not sure I know what happiness is. It's different for everybody. For me, it's always been having the creases on my pants so sharp you could slice tomatoes on them. In that case, you must be thrilled. Nothing's ever sharp enough. Yeah, I know what you mean. Do you? Think about it, Vinny. Everything in life's a small marriage. You buy a pink car, you're married to it. You get serious with a woman, you're married. A job, it's a marriage. If you got the right situation, you stay faithful. But sometimes a guy's in the wrong situation. A beautiful woman pulls up in a golden T-bird and offers you perfection. Make you happy forever. It's hard to go back to an old marriage. Come back and talk again, Vincenzo. It was nice seeing you. Take care of yourself. Style section, 11-5, IDEP procedure, nothing what boss. Hey, hey, Vinny, what's the word? Tell McPike that Patrice just made a move on me. Well, did you give him your number? No, I gave him yours. <laughs> I'll have my hair done. Yeah, you do that. Jokes? No. Do you mind if I tell a couple? Yeah. Well, then don't listen, because I want to practice. Hey, Elder, would you just shut up with the stupid jokes? What's the matter with your friend Vinny? Huh? Oh, no, he's a good man. He's a little raggy lady, that's all. Gotta keep him in line. When you see this place, you're gonna love it. Manager's gonna take care of you, but be cool. Society's elite frolic in this joint. See you later. Okay, guys, come on. All right, listen, Sonny wants every inch of this place covered. Vinny, you wanna start upstairs with Larry and Micah? Hey, I don't know, I know how to sweep a building. We should all start in the basement and work our way up. That way we don't miss anything. Come on.
We're gonna be great together. Me and you, Teresa. I know that, Sonny. Uh, <laughs> I want you to make me lots of sons. How many? Even dozen. <laughs> so we can name it for the 12 seasons. <laughs> what? It's a man. I never thought this would happen. I mean, we've known each other for a long time. But I always thought you preferred the glamour girls. <laughs> Teresa, I've had my eyes on you since you were 12 years old. You were pretty developed for jail, babe. Not that I'm a pervert or anything, but uh... You remember when you were 15 and your father took you to that party I threw? Yeah. You were the sexiest woman in the room. I swear to God. I'd have made a move on you then, except I knew your father would have blown me away. Sonny, you talk enough crap to fertilize Nebraska. Well, you love it. Are you marrying me to consolidate your power in the Bronx? Who are you talking about? Sonny, I love you. And I'm going to marry you anyway. But I want to know why. After all these years of flirting and rubbing more than elbows, you finally popped the question. Hmm. You're a shrewd woman, Teresa. You know better than to pry into my business. Of all the Caesars, Augustus had the greatest reign. He also had the greatest wife. I'm marrying you for a lot of reasons, and I think they're the right ones. But first of all, and most important, it's because I love you. You gotta understand that. And uh, I enjoy your company. You're a smart woman, Teresa. You know how to live with a man like me. And yeah, politically, it's a good move. But, uh, there's another reason why I decided it's time to get married. I'm afraid of dying. Yeah. I never used to be. But ever since my brother died, I keep thinking about my name. Hell, now that Dave's gone, it's like he was never even here. Nobody even mentions his name. Nothing. Some four-eyed geek already took over his office. Keep my name alive, Teresa. Make me sons. You do that for me? I want better guarantees, Volk. Your well-being is Sonny Steelgrave's first priority. That's why he suggested Mahoney or D'Angelico. I want Gino Manza. He's a good man, but he's not up to this kind of security work. Manza's the only man who'll make that wedding safe. Come on. Gino Manza couldn't keep a school playground safe. Listen. Excuse me, sir. This is a very important occasion for Sonny. And maybe a little indulgence is in order. D'Angelica and Mahoney are both good people, but Sal's worried they might be a little too close to Sonny. Better close than far away. Listen, you got the guarantee of the Steel Grays, but you also got the guarantee of the Boglia family. That's good enough for me. Of the two, I prefer Mahoney to ensure my safety. How about you, Sal? Yeah, sure. Mahoney's all right. Hey, listen, uh, I'm gonna stick around down here for a while and visit my mother, so I'll see you in Jersey tomorrow, right? Yeah, all right, I'll see you later. Yeah. Hey, 
You don't think I forgot that crack you made about Teresa, do you? Hey, come on, it's funny. You told me to make the fight look real. It was a little too real. I want you to know I care about this girl. All right, I'm sorry. Next time I'll make fun of the way you dress. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> so did it happen? Yeah, it did, just like you said. Patrice was all over me like a cheap suit. I knew it. Scalisi's got eyes like a hawk and ears like an elephant. So what was the play? It was very smooth. Now, Patrice asked me if I was happy. Played this little game with me about uh, if a marriage is bad, you move on, right? And then he uh, gave me this song and dance about loyalty to Brooklyn. Loyalty to Brooklyn. He's so busy schmoozing with the Jets that he don't give a damn about his home turf. Yeah. So did Aldo tell you about the meeting? Yeah. Did pretty good, huh? No. He almost blew everything. What are you talking about? He got them to agree on Mahoney. Patrice got Boca to agree on Mahoney. Patrice? Yeah. See, Aldo put his foot in his mouth. He insulted Monza, and everybody got tense. Everybody except Patrice. He just smiled and said Mahoney was OK with him. Boca was so dumbfounded, all he could do was nod his head. Hmm. So Paul suggested Mahoney. Yeah. Wonder what he's got cooking. Well, I'll tell you. You know, after I left Patrice's, I went across the street to get a newspaper. Well, Mahoney just pulled up. He was being real friendly with Patrice. Hmm. Mahoney's dealing with Patrice. Well, what do you want me to do next? Yeah, everybody's going over to Pat the Cat. I think it's time you join him, Vinny. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea, Sonny. That's what I put you there for. I stay one step ahead of him, I could beat him. Well, what are you going to do? Tomorrow, I go and talk to Pat the Cat Patrice. Ask him to be my best man. I'll call you tomorrow. OK. Good night, son. Hey, Vinny. Yeah? What's the matter with the way I dress? Oh, nothing, Sonny. I was just kidding. OK? Yeah. You got a big social calendar, Vince? Oh, yeah. A wedding and a war. Sonny's gonna marry Teresa Baglia. Steel Gray's playing it smart. Joe Baglia doesn't hold much juice anymore, but he's a sentimental favorite. Steel Gray marries into that family. He aligns himself with the Kanekas, Mahoney, a few dozen congressmen, and the IRA. You know, Sonny's going through some changes, too. What do you mean? Well, I don't know. Sometimes he seems more powerful. Other times, he seems so vulnerable. Just don't get all dewy-eyed here, Vince. You're dealing with a snake. Yeah, I know, I know. What's the story on Patrice? The war is going to come. Sonny and I had a little public spat, and Patrice tried to make his move on me. You learn anything? No, not from Patrice, but when I left the security conference, I saw a meeting with Mahoney. Did you tell Steel Gray that? Yeah. That is a mistake, Vince. You're supposed to come to me first. Frank, I didn't have any time. Sonny planted me there to get information. I had to give him something. All right. From now on, you confer with me before you pass anything on to Steel Grave, all right? Yeah, all right. Anything else? Yeah. This is the one we wanted, Frank. The biggest fish on the East Coast. Are we going to wait for the war? Or are we going to go after the Malhouse? You know how hard it is to get a conviction on conspiracy? Could save a lot of bodies. Yeah, that'd be nice. Brings you to Brooklyn, huh? Got a lot of catching up to do, Paul. Sit down. Big changes coming for you, Sonny. Yeah, lots of changes for everybody. You know, I should have gotten married. But who the hell would live with me? Gee, I don't know, Paul. It'd be tough to find a woman who dresses as good as you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
Mr. Sonny, I'm gonna miss your jokes. I'm not going anywhere. Of course not. Hey, I'm happy for you. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. <clears throat> Listen, I, I'd like to ask you for a favor. Anything, Sonny. How could I refuse a man who's about to be married? I'd like you to be my best man. Sonny. Well, I figure uh, we both profited from knowing each other. It's only right that you stand by me. I'm on it, Sonny. Thanks, Pat. I know why you want me to be your best man. You want me to spring for your bachelor party, huh? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we'll have a drink. Who is it? Me, Marge, me. Vincenzo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm fine, Vincenzo. <laughs> Sit down and let me give you something to eat. No, I'm not really hungry. Then make believe you're eating. You know how old ladies are. Yeah, okay. I got some veal in the ice box. How's that? Yeah, that's great. Oh, I got a little piece of lemon cake I was saving for your Aunt Celia. Oh, that's okay. No, 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 no. I, I'd rather you eat it. Okay. What's wrong, Vincenzo? I don't know, Ma. It's a job. There's a lot of pressure. What kind of pressure? Uh, sometimes I don't feel good about what I'm doing. You're helping to put criminals in jail. You should feel proud of that. Yeah. Not the way I'm doing it. Well, I feel like a putan. My boss is getting me in bed with Sonny Steelgrave. Sonny's got me doing the same thing with another gangster. That's your job. It feels dirty. See, man? Sonny trusts me. He actually cares about me. When you were in the hospital, he asked about you every day. My own boss didn't even do that. I feel like the criminal because I'm betraying the man's trust. I want you to think about something. Do you really care for this man? Yes. Then you're a fool. That man's an infamia. Ma, I didn't say he wasn't. But he's also my friend. Vincenzo, we're all human beings. Every person who ever lived on this earth, from Ivan the Terrible to Hitler, had their moments of kindness and love. But there has to be balance. What good's a man who loves his children and murders someone else's? This is unexpected. Yeah, well, I found myself in a neighborhood and I felt like talking. Good. Will you have a drink with me? Sure. Tony, a little grab, huh? Sonny really surprised me today. Oh, yeah, he's full of surprises. Aren't we all? Yeah. Yeah. Long life. Chin down. You look like a man in a bad marriage. <laughs> yeah, well, the uh, little woman's getting dumpy and mean. I think my eye is beginning to wander. You spot anything that looks appealing? Now let's cut the hen house metaphors. You know why I'm here. Yeah. You're here because you're a smart boy. And you know that Sonny's gonna lose to me. Maybe. There are no maybes. I have my hand in fires that would melt your fingers. What are you offering? What did Sonny pay you? More than I need? I'll pay you more than that. What do you want me to do? We're gonna hit Sonny the morning of his wedding at 7 o'clock. I need you to smuggle in some hardware to Scalise and give him a layout of the place. I'll take care of it, Don Patrice. Good. And I'll take care of you.
this and I'll open it. After we get Sonny, I want you to kill Terranova. I despise a betrayer. Patrice is gonna hit Sonny. He told you that? Yeah, last night. When? Seven o'clock, the morning of Sonny's wedding. What's Patrice want you to do? Well, I'm supposed to plant the hardware for Scalise, and he's gonna hit him. You plan it. What? You gotta go along with this. This is everything we've been working for. Now, Frank, I can't set him up. Uh, can we jam the firing pins? Sure, but if the guy's any good, he's gonna clean the guns the night before. And when he does, he's gonna find the jams, and then he's gonna come looking for you. Well, I gotta tell Sonny. You tell him this whole thing blows up in our face. Frank, we can't lead him to the chopping block just to get out indictments. I know that. We gotta piece together enough evidence for a conspiracy. Now, you know the layout of the hotel. Can we hang a fly on the wall? Nah, nah, Mahoney's people will sweep the place. They'll pick up the signal. Only if we transmit. Now, I can hardwire the place. We can get the whole thing on a 12-hour tape. How often Mahoney's people sweep the place? Patrice is throwing a bachelor party for Sonny tomorrow night at 10 o'clock, right? Now, they're gonna do a full check at 9 o'clock. So that means you got about 20 minutes to plant it. Is there any place we can drop a unit? There's some ornamental grating in the banquet room. And it looks like it might be covering a vent, I think. We'll get it. How? We'll get it. I'm also going to bite into the phone wires. That way you can phone us from any place in the hotel. What'll that do? As soon as you get enough evidence, you push the button, and we'll be all over the place. If not, I'm going to bust in at a quarter to seven. All right, Frank. Okay. But if you're not there in time, I'm gonna have to stop that killing myself. I went to my doctor, and he says to me, you know, you got a diet. I said, I don't even know what color it is now. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, what are these? Caviar in pastry. Hey, you're serving dessert first? <laughs> Did you see that? How incredibly unattractive. Man has no class. Yeah. The wife couldn't figure it out. She thought I was a circus performer. <laughs> Oh, he's bad. Hey. Did you get the piece? Yeah. Stash another one behind the freezer in the kitchen. How you doing, Harry? Here we go, here it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Look at Mac. Look at his eyes are bulging out of his head. Look at his fish. It's the same color as you. <laughs> what are you talking? I'm lace curtain, I was. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> you went all out. Glad you like it. Yeah. What kind of soup is this? It's great. Hey, who got a cigar? Give me a cigar. Here. Yeah, I'm all right. Happy. Happy, son. What's not to be happy about? Hey, hey, Sonny, open up your mouth and say something. Yeah! yeah. All right, all right, all right. Somebody's got to blow a little steam. And you're just the man to do it, Sonny. <laughs> First of all, <clears throat> I'd like to thank Paul for giving us a nice spread. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. And I'd like to thank all of you for coming. It really means a lot to me. You know, all my life, I've been chasing a taste of something that could make me feel more alive. Some kind of magic fumes, I don't know, that I could breathe in and fill my soul. Something that I could feel pumping in my blood. I've tried everything except making new life. That's why I'm here. To make new life, to keep me alive forever. I think man was born hungry. He spends his life hunting, trying to satisfy that hunger. We hunt more and more, trying to find something that'll make us feel fuller. But that emptiness, it's always there. It comes from isolation. A man who is isolated, he's empty. So I hold out my hand to those of you who feel isolated and invite you to join my family. Comfortable seat. I want you to enjoy your last moments on Earth. Well, you're panting, Sid. Don't do that. Don't worry about it. We'll get you a woman. Mm -hmm. I think he's having a heart attack. No, he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't miss my wedding, would you? Get him in a closet with Scalise. Make sure he has enough to drink. Sonny, I got a present for you. You've already given me enough. <laughs> this is a perfect gift for a guy in your shoes. Where are you going? If we can. Squeeze your legs together. I want you to see this. All right.
Get hey. Some. Let's go upstairs. I want to show you my king size bed. <laughs> Come on, Aldo. Come on, let's go. I got a bed back. You got to help me out. Come Hey, Vinny. What? Why didn't you tell me Patrice was gonna hit me? 